from Hollywood, it's time now for... Johnny Dollar. Capitan Garcia Ramulio, senor. Oh, Garcia. Of the Panama Federal Police. Tell me, have senor, you... Senor, the most intensive troubles are being extended in this matter. Which means you haven't found him yet. Every man of the police is active alert. I'm happy to hear it. You may rest assured, senor, that the capture of this dangerous Americano gangster is occur at any moment. Have you found any trace of him? Senor, I wish to advise you that the entire resource of my policia is at the reposal of our good neighbor of the north. Thank you very much. Do you know where he's headed? It is only by cooperation that our two great Garcia. Nations... Si, senor. Do you have any idea at all what's happened to Ed Morgan? No, senor. <laughs> Tonight and every weekday night, Bob Bailey and the transcribed adventures of the man with the action-packed expense account. America's fabulous freelance insurance investigator. Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. From Special Investigator Johnny Dollar, location Panama. To the home office, Eternity Mutual Insurance Company, Hartford, Connecticut. Assignment, the confidential matter. Expense account, final page. <laughs> Item 15, a dollar and ten cents. Taxi from my hotel to Plaza Bolivar in the office of Captain Garcia, Commandante of Police. It had been over an hour and a half since I'd let Ed Morgan point a gun at me and escape from the tiny fishing boat where he'd been hiding out for the past month. I'd expected the police to capture him within 30 minutes. There were only two highways out, and they'd both been blockaded immediately. But somehow, Ed, driving a stolen police car, had escaped the net. In fact, he'd done more than merely escape, as I discovered when I walked into the massive stone police headquarters. Ah, Senor Dollar, pleased to sit you down. Thanks. The most surprised thing is, of course, Senor. What do you mean? You will remember you say it's a fine idea to keep watch at the hotel of the Senora Barrett. Yeah, I thought Ed might try to get in touch with her. Bueno, see. So I do this thing. I send two men, and they watch for one hour. Que bobos, they are fools. Why so? They do not see the Senor Morgan. They do not see the Senor Barrett. But only after one hour do they think to talk with the manager. You know what he say? What? Senor Morgan come five minutes before they do, and he take the Senor away in the car. What the devil for? Can sabe, Senor. Driving a stolen car and just one jump ahead of the police, and he risks his neck to go after her? Why? Pues a veces el amor le vuelve loco, un hombre. Meaning... This love is sometimes make a man crazy in the head. How about that one? It's something I am not understand so good, senor. What's that? How is it you all know all about this criminal? He wasn't always a criminal, Garcia. He was one of my best friends for 12 years. Uh, then I am much sympathy with you, senor. It's too unfortunate that you are have the job for arresting. Well, I didn't know he was alive when I took the job. Que dice? The company ran an audit on his books and found an 80 grand shortage. I went to San Francisco to find out what happened to the money. Ed was supposedly dead at the time. We all thought so. Then I do not understand why you have come here to Panama. I came to talk to this Nicky Barrett, the woman he'd been running around with. I stumbled onto him by luck or accident or whatever you want to call it. Que curiosa es la vida. To live is like to fish, senor. One is never certain what he may pull up on the hook. Well, I pulled up one here and I'd like to throw it back. But I guess you don't have much choice when you're... Dispense me, por favor. Bueno. Eh? ¿Qué dice? Sí, sí, yo sé. Cerca del mar. Santa madre, qué tan lejos. What is it, Garcia? Ay, qué lástima. Sí, cuídelo bien. Venemos ahorita. Sí, adiós. What's wrong? What's happened? Señor Morgan and the señora, they have been found. Where? They have tried to escape by the old road on the cliff. He's abandoned, very dangerous. They are miss one bad curve and go into the ocean. Into the ocean? See, si, senor, the car is under 10 meters of water. There is no sign of life. Expense account item 16, $75. Charter fee and one power launch. This included the services of a diver and line tender. We were just plain lucky on this one. A salvage company happened to be working in the port and had a man and equipment free at the moment. We took off along the coastline, and in less than an hour, we dropped anchor over the wreck. And the diver had been lowered beneath the surface. The sea was calm against the rocks, but the water wasn't clear enough to see more than just the outline of the car lying over 30 feet down on the bottom. While we waited for the diver to come back up, I glanced toward the high cliff towering above us. A month ago, there'd been another cliff like that in San Francisco. 
Like I say, senor, life is too strange sometimes. So is death. This man, this woman, they meet, they look one at each other, and what are they think? A lot of things, maybe. But not that they'd end up here, like this. How true it is, senor. Who can ever know if one day he will come to... Wait a second. Sir. The diver's coming up. Uh, see, si. It's too bad he doesn't have the system of telephone. In this case, we can talk from the water. We didn't have time to rig it up. Well, we'll soon know, I guess. I am most sorry for you, Senor Dollar, that your friend has to die like this. I faced the idea of his death a month ago and accepted it. Then I had to face some other things about him. Another shark now doesn't seem to have much meaning. It's just a matter of... Hey, there's the diver. He's up at the rail. Hey, let me give you a hand with that faceplate. I'll work on this side. It's very complicated, this diving business. Yeah. Well, this is kind of an old-fashioned rig. They got suits now with self-contained oxygen, independent control. Stuff the frogmen developed during and after the war. Yeah, it is. All right. There we go. All right, now, what'd you find? Oh... Let me get a breath of raw air first. Ugh. Better get that compressor motor fixed. Throws down more CO than oxygen. Come on, come on. How'd it look? Uh, Dollar, it's a mess. That car must have rolled over a dozen times coming down that cliff. All cracked up. Yeah, but what about... One door's half off and flattened back. All the glass is slivered. Looks like it had been bombed instead of just wrecked. Senor, is the... Yeah, the body of the woman is inside, but... There's no chance of getting it out without dropping a grappler and seeing if we can roll the car over. And the man... Is he? Nope. Just a woman. That's the only one down there. Again, the same pattern. A car plunging off a cliff into the ocean and a body missing from it. But this time I was sure it wasn't faked. Ed wouldn't have done a thing like that to Nicky. Not to Nicky. And yet his body was not in the wreck. I looked again at the high wall of the cliff, steep but not vertical. A car would have rolled and bounced coming down, as the diver had said. And one door was torn half off. The glass was smashed out. It was a possibility, as far as I could see, the only possibility. I had the captain run the launch in close. Then I jumped onto the rocks and started to climb. The slope was gentler than it had looked from the water. And the surface was broken by ravines. Clumps and thickets of tropical plants clung to the shelves, and the going was rough. A long ways from impossible. I'd made it halfway to the top when I found him jammed in the trough of a gully. Broken, badly hurt, but still alive. Barely alive. That you, Johnny? Yeah. Easy now, Ed. Let me get a foothold here. We didn't make it, Johnny. You didn't have a chance, Ed. You should have realized. I know. Maybe I knew all along. Better not try to talk. It's kind of funny when you think about it. I mean, what happened here... Just like we did it in San Francisco. Only this time it's real. Lost control. Yeah, this time it's real. Now, you lie still there. There are police on the road up above. We'll get some ropes down, have you out of here before you know it. Forget it, Johnny. It's no use. Them all smashed inside. I can't even move. All right. Maybe you got a broken bone or two, but that's no reason to... T Don't lie to me, Johnny. I'm dying. We both know it. Am I right or not? Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid you're right. Doesn't matter anymore. Oh, Ed. Tell me, is... Is Nikki... She's dead. No. You're right about her, Johnny. Forget it, will you? Forget it. I made her come with me in the car held a gun on her. She got mad, scared. She spilled the whole story. Ed, it doesn't make any difference it's now. funny. I thought she came down here before she was supposed to because she just couldn't wait to join me. But she only came to get the rest of the money. She wasn't planning to stay. Listen to me, Ed, this kind of talk She won't... didn't love me. Never did. She admitted it right before we went off the cliff. But I thought she did, Johnny, for a while. And nobody else ever let me even think it. Please, Ed, why don't you try to forget about it? You know something, Johnny? 
but if I was to go back, I think I'd do the same thing again. Nikki, the way she could be when she wanted to, it gets you. Got me, anyway. It's crazy. Maybe there's just no answer for a guy like me, except this. I don't know, Ed. I'm not a judge. Kind of figures, you know? Nikki dying, too. I bought her and paid for her. And I at least ought to be able to take her with me. After all, I... Easy now. The money. What's left of it? It's inside my coat. Give it to Moore. Tell him I'm sorry. Make him understand. He will, Ed. You too, Johnny. I'm... I'm sorry. I guess I don't know what else to say. Oh, forget it. But I still think I'd do it all over again. <laughs> crazy, eh? There are times we all go a little crazy. I got no right to ask, but if you would, I'd sure appreciate it. I mean, if you just shake hands with me. Oh, sure, Ed. Here you go. It's funny, I... I can't, can't find your hand. It, it's dark. I, I can't see where... Right here, Ed. Right here. Oh. I shake you ugly old son of a gun. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks for not... For not... Mm -hmm. So long, Ed. Item 17, $487.25, hotel and incidentals in Panama and transportation back to the States. Expense account total, $912.61. Am forwarding under separate cover by American Express, insured $62,112.30. End of account, end of report. Remarks? No, Mort, not on this one. Ed Morgan was my friend. The report stands. Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. Now, here is our star to tell you about next week's story. Next week, the imperfect alibi matter. A real weirdy, where a big lie turns out to be the one real truth in the case. Join us, won't you? Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. Yours truly, Johnny Dollar, starring Bob Bailey, is transcribed in Hollywood. Written by Les Crutchfield. It is produced and directed by Jack Johnstone. Heard in our cast were Virginia Gregg, Jack Edwards, Russell Thorson, Pearly Mitchell, Stacey Harris, Bob Miller, Harry Bartell, Victor Perrin, and Frank Gerstle. Musical supervision by Amerigo Marino. Be sure to join us on Monday night, same time and station, for another exciting story of Yours truly, Johnny Dollar. Hugh Brundage speaking.